Today I'm making an Easter bunny cake. For the cake, I'm going to use Victoria sponge recipe. You can watch my video here, how to make Mary Berry's Victoria sponge, or you can use your own sponge recipe. For the buttercream, add your butter into a big bowl and sift in your icing sugar. On a low speed, beat the butter and icing sugar until it goes crumbly. I like to put a towel over the bowl so none of the icing sugar can escape. Add your vanilla extract to your milk and slowly pour it into your bowl. Once the icing's combined, turn the mixture to high and beat for five to six minutes until pale in colour and fluffy. Place a pea-sized dollop of buttercream onto your cake board to stop the sponge from moving. Place your cake onto the board and spread with some buttercream. Using your choice of jam, spread it onto your buttercream, leaving an inch round the side so it doesn't splodge out the sides. Add your top layer and cover with buttercream. Next, we need to create the ears using our last sponge, simply using our cake tin to help us. Find the center of your cake and put the edge of your cake tin on the line, then using a sharp knife, cut around the cake tin at a 90 degrees angle so it is completely even around the sides. Trim the bottom of the ears so they can fit nicely onto the bunny's face. Go along with your knife and trim off any of the rough edges. I'm going to soften the edges of the bunny ears as I don't like them to be very pointy, but you can leave that part out. Cut your ears in half and spread some buttercream onto the board where your ears are going to sit. Place your bottom half of the ear onto the cake board and spread with some butter icing and then some jam. Place the top of the ear back on and with your remaining buttercream create a crumb coat to make putting on the fondant easier. Simply spread over your buttercream and try to make it as smooth as you can with a palette knife. Sprinkle some corn flour onto your work surface and rolling pin to stop the fondant from sticking. Roll out your fondant big enough to cover the cake. Make sure you keep turning your fondant to check it's not sticking to the work surface. Roll the icing around the rolling pin to make taking the icing to the cake a lot easier. Gently unroll the icing onto the cake. While gently pulling on the fondant, buff the surface with your hands to get a smooth top and sides. Make sure you get into all of the edges. Trim off any of the excess icing to get it out of your way. Cut the icing between the ears and smooth it down onto the cake. The fondant might not cover the whole inside of the ear, so simply patch it up with some of the remaining fondant. Carefully trim around your cake to make a neat finish. I like to use the back of a knife to push the fondant at the bottom slightly under the cake. To make it extra neat, I'm going to add a ribbon. Use some of the remaining buttercream to glue the ribbon on. For the teeth, cut out a rectangle 4cm wide and 5cm up and indent the gap in the tooth using the back of your knife. For the bunny cheeks, you want to try get two equal sized roundish shapes, using your fingers to buffer the icing into your desired size cheeks. You can place one on top of the other to see if they are even. Place them onto the cake and see if they look in proportion to the teeth and cake. For the eyes, cut out two small circles and lightly roll them out lengthways to make them longer. Using black fondant, cut out two smaller circles to create the pupils. Using a round-ended tool, indent some pores onto the cheeks. For the nose, start off with a small ball and using your finger, create the bottom of the heart shape with one of the sides. 
I find it easier to put the nose on the cake so I can look to see what needs changing. Flatten the top of the nose and press it into the cheeks. For the inner ears we are going to repeat the same process as we did before. Use the tin to help you cut the sides. Trim off the bottom of the ear so it fits nice and snug to the face. Once you are happy with the layout of your bunny's face, wet the back of the icing to help glue it into place. For the finishing touch, I'm using some jewellery wire to create some whiskers. So there's your super cute Easter bunny cake. Easy. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave any requests in the comment box below.